Oh, there you are, YouTube. Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Says Nine. serendipity. Nine. Yay. Good job. You pulled that out perfectly. Yep, that side. Whoopsies. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're putting it back the way it was. We can flip it around. <laughs> Getting it in perfect. There we Good go. Job. Good. Serendipity is in the player and about to be watched. Serendipity was not always a movie I was into. But, I mean, this, this movie has been in our advent calendar, I think, since the beginning. I ha would have to look into that, but I'm pretty sure it has because my wife loves it. She saw it in the theater when it came out. When did this come out? I don't know, 2000 or something like that? I don't know. But uh, she's a big fan and, you know, always uh, made a point uh, to to make sure that it was in the advent calendar. And I was always kind of like, eh, eh, whatever. Cause it's not like, I don't know. It is, it's, there's a lot of Christmassy stuff in it. And there's even Christmas magic in it, I would say, or serendipitous magic. But I, I don't know, for some reason, I just was never that into the movie. Actually, I feel like I can point why. The movie has some weird shaky cam strange transitions happening that are just kind of jarring and odd. I mean, those don't really bother me anymore, but they used to. But there's this character whose name I can't remember. He's on the show, Sex in the City. He's in My Big Fat Greek Wedding. What is his name? I can't think of his name right now. Aiden from Sex in the City. Anyway, his character, I feel like, is a little too over the top for the rest of the movie. You could say that about Molly Shannon's as well, but I don't... For some reason, hers, her character feels more natural, like a friend you actually could have. But this other guy, it's like, how is he even a part of this world? How is he even connected to these people? I don't feel like the people that, like, Kate Beckinsale's character would actually even give this person the time of day and the other way around. It's just... He doesn't seem to fit in the world or the film, but Molly Shannon's character does. While she is much more funny than everybody else in the film, it's like she is a funny friend, you know? Like everybody has like that funny friend where Aiden, he just does not feel like he belongs in this movie, I guess. So his part always bothered me. I apologize to that actor. Or, you know, maybe he sees it too. Maybe it's the writer. I don't know. But anyway, I, that part never appealed to me. His his stuff. I think they should have toned him down, maybe, or something. <laughs> it just, it just didn't, never works for me. But anyway, this movie has started to grow on me. And I'm, I was actually looking forward to watching it. And there's this moment at the end that my wife brings up, points out every single time. The very end, I, I guess spoilers maybe, um, where John Cusack, you know, something goes his way at the end and John Cusack drops this single tear, perfect, alone, single tear by itself, dropped perfectly. And it's just wonderful. It's cute. It's amazing. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's so good. So... I don't know. I was looking forward to watching it this year, and I feel like I never really am. Uh, plus, uh, Eugene Levy's in it, so that's pretty cool too. I mean, everybody everybody loves the Levies right now, right? If you're following his career, he has a, a small part in this, as he does in many movies. I mean, I need to look at his IMDb, because I am sure it is hundreds of movies long, because he just, you know, he has his own films where he plays a major part, and then he has these smaller films. Uh, well, he has films where he plays a smaller character, like this one. Or like uh, Father of the Bride, or uh, Father of the Bride Part 2, you know, um, where he just kind of dips into the movie for a little bit. But uh, that's kind of what the situation is here in um, Serendipity. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. Basically, I'm just here to say... I, I had to give this movie many chances, and I don't know, I'm, I'm a fan now. So, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. 
So give that a watch. John Cusack is amazing. Kate Beckinsale had the hugest crush on her for the longest time. And, I mean, I guess I still do. You know, I think she's great. And, um, yeah, Molly Shannon's funny. Jeremy Piven's good. Um, yeah. Also, I, po I like, post these, um, you know, that I'm watching these movies on Instagram, right? And Jeremy Piven actually responded to me. So that was pretty cool. Because uh, I've never had that happen. Well, have I? I guess I've had that happen, but... This, I mean, not with, like, somebody so epic, I think. So, yeah, epic. You know, what's the word I'm looking for? Such a, a big star, I guess, to respond. It it could have happened, but I can't think of it right now off of the top of my head. Um, when it comes to, like, a star. It's happened with... No, actually, that's completely false. I've had a post liked by Sarah Jessica Parker. So... There's that. That's probably, that one's huge. But, you know, he actually commented on this, liked it and commented, and recommended another movie for me to watch, which was awesome, and I let him know that we're actually gonna watch um, The Family Man, which he's also in. But that's, that's you know, could be tomorrow, some point in Advent, uh, we'll be watching The Family Man. But he has a new movie coming out. Um, it's called, like, I don't know, the word dad is in it, dad christmas at my dad's house or something i can't remember i feel bad for not remembering it right now but i hadn't heard about it until it was in this post but um actually let me just look it up right now and i'm back it's called my dad's christmas date never heard of it so maybe we'll try and squeeze that one in as well if we can it's a very busy time for us but perhaps it can happen um but yeah basically back to serendipity it's a film that took me a while, but now I'm on board. And outside of that, perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.